have an interesting question. When the great movement of people, like Africa had the first humans, right? And then, then how did that work? And then the Asian, uh, what was the name of Asian? Wasn't it even called Mongoloids? Like that's literally what they're called in science. Then the Caucasians have formed in, I think here, because of the missing sunlight. Then the, uh, the, the Negroids, which is just a scientific term used in every book. And then the, uh, I think, I think they were called Mongoloids. The, the, the Asian came here. And back in the day, there used to be a land bridge here. And the Asians, well, there was also a land bridge between Japan and Korea. And they would move over here, uh, which is why Native Americans uh, look a bit Asian, because they had this big movement a while ago. But uh, can anyone explain how, how the races in the Pacific were made? It must have been the Asians using boats getting over. Are they not called like that anymore? Uh, uh, sci... Oh, God. <laughs> Scientific names for races. For human races. No, Negroid. It's still being used. Mongoloid, Negroid, Australoid, and Caucasian. That is just science. Just because some fucking Netflix bullshit told you that is a bad word, it's still a basic word. Australoid, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Australoids, which are probably like these Maori and stuff. They must descend from the Asians, I would guess, right? It's actually true. Go to school, you Muppets, man. That's literally what they're called in science, man, in every science book. But where are the Australoids from, man? I must, I think they descend from the Asians. The term was introduced. Yeah, but where are they from? Australomanesian Australoid uh, is an outdated historical grouping. Outdated. Uh, is that so? You don't say that anymore? But this is a Wikipedia article. Shouldn't this be scientific? And feel I feel like some enraged white kid put the word outdated here. I don't know though. This is just I don't fucking know. Where are they from? Controversy, dude. I just want to know the science and not the fucking controversy. Where are they from? Mori come in from Polynesia, maybe some I hear you. Ah, there we go. 3000 BC, like Asians from Taiwan, yeah, moved in. And the blue thing didn't matter anymore. Ah, that's so interesting. That's what I wanted to Google. 900 Anno Domini, they went, look. Yeah, the Asians had like these shitty wooden boats and they step by step will start colonizing over, over thousands of years, man. So yeah, they're Asian. That was my question. They're Asian descended. Here we go, two minutes. Human migration across the globe. I read books about this. It all started in like Middle East Africa, where the. I don't know what the fucking term is nowadays, Aldo. Back in the day, it was Negroid in these books. They grow, then they went to Asia, where they slowly formed the Asian race. And in the north, because of the lack of sun, the Caucasian uh, mutation started. Then they used the land bridge in Alaska to get to America, which was like the, became the Mayas and shit, you know, all that, the Native Americans and stuff. That's kind of how that worked. What is new? It's just the truth. Yeah, it started there. First Homo Sapiens. I think this is so fucking interesting, man. Earth enters the coldest, driest period of the Ice Age. This is so sick. Dude, one of them is your ancestor. Probably our shared ancestor, man. But uh, this shit is so interesting. I could watch it all day. Because this really fucking happened, man. This is real. This is not some fucking TV show. The first humans leave Africa. But then I wonder, this is, sounds weird, but why did their race, which was black people, why did they became... A what happened that made them Asians? What kind of evolution happened there why did that happen i think i, I don't understand I, I, it's so interesting they reached australia fifty thousand years ago that's so early climate but how did the climate the environment changed them but what exactly did the environment do to form the, the look Like, what exactly in biology happened? Middle East, Central Asia. I 
pet goldsmith. That should be Ben, you know that, right? Race to not exist that's outdated. Yeah, there's people that follow science and people that follow Twitter. Humans enter Europe for Southeast. Dude, I never. Isn't that insane that actually a lot of Europeans came actually from like Iran and shit and Central Russia? Dude, what the fuck? Neanderthal went extinct. The Neanderthal uh, existed at the same time as the Homo sapiens, man. Earth enters the last glacial maximum 25,000 years ago. This shit is so fucking interesting, man. Wait, the Japanese are from fucking Singapore and shit? What? What? The first humans crossed the Bering. Yeah, that's how Native Americans and Mex South American stuff. They descend. I always have these weird thoughts. What if the first Homo sapiens would have fucked up? What if some earthquake would have eradicated them? What if some campfire killed like 10 of them? Where, where these 10 are actually the main source of billions of humans. That is mind blowing. That shit blows my fucking mind, man. There's nothing more mind blowing than that. How fucking, how fucking lucky it is that you and me exist nowadays, right? How unbelievable what it could... It, that's like to me I don't believe in God but that's to me the biggest dude look how good I can talk because of the garlic that's to me the biggest proof of God the fucking chance of you and me existing nowadays with a free will uh, and making decisions is so fucking unlikely man I feel like thank you for the tier 2 for 2 years man thank you so much I, I, I feel like if you ever want to make someone believe in God you should start there you should be like you think this is all a fucking coincidence man Crazy, mind blowing. And when you when you look at these chances, it makes you scared that um, it must be so hard for aliens out there to exist because you have to overcome so much unlikeliness to 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 exist to to exist, man. It's fucking insane, dude. Yeah, the great filter theory. How many filters a race has to overcome to become a sentient, intelligent race in the universe? It's, it's wow. so fucking insane, dude. The thing is, though, I, I remember this. When I was in 10th grade, I we had to make a presentation in English class. I remember this very well. Because I, I got an A, I remember that. And my presentation was about, is there life in the universe? I remember back in the day, right? The girls would laugh at you. They would be like a nerd. <laughs> but man, it's so cool to think about the universe early in your life. And um, I, I, I made this uh, presentation. And there was this formula, which I... Which I I forgot the name, but some scientists made this formula where he is taking the possibility of life existing, all the filters you have to overcome, right? All that stuff, life has to form out of the soup, blah, blah, blah. They have to get opposable thumbs, they have to eat meat with cutting objects. There's so much that needs to happen that an intelligent species are made. And he took this, he kind of made a formula that tells you how likely it is that an intelligent race can happen. Someone says Drake's equation, I don't know if that's true. And he even used very pessimistic numbers. He even was like very pessimistic, ultra unlikely life is made. He then looks at the Milky Way, just the Milky Way, with I think 300 billion stars. And if you apply the, the worst stuff of you need an exoplanet, a planet that is far enough from the sun to uh, have the right temperature, and all the filters, if everything is really fucked, you still have a chance of up to, I don't remember, 200,000 alien races in just the Milky Way. Just the Milky Way, man. And that blew my mind. That even if you apply a lot of pessimism, there's just so many fucking stars in the universe that there just has to be life out there. Even with the worst chances ever, man. Humans were 70,000 years ago at a population of 1,000 to 10,000 people almost making human extinct. The Toba catastrophe theory. The youngest Toba eruption was a supervolcano eruption that occurred 75,000 years ago at the site of present-day Lake Toba in Sumatra, Indonesia. Uh, it is one of the Earth's largest known explosive eruptions. Uh, the theory holds that this event caused a global volcanic winter of 6 to 10 years and possibly a 1,000 year long cooling episode. Isn't it crazy how one volcano can fuck it all up? It's scary as fuck, right? Look at the genetic bottleneck theory. 
The youngest Toba eruption has been linked to a genetic bottleneck in human evolution about 70,000 years ago, which may have resulted in a severe reduction of the size of the total human population due to the effects of the eruption of the global climate. According to the generic bottleneck theory, between 50,000 to 100,000 years ago, human population was like decreased to 3,000 to 10,000. Dude, if that fear is read that at one point we had like 5,000 humans, man. And if something happened to them, adios, you and me never exist. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That shit gives me a headache, man. Oh, that shit fucks with my brain, dude. Oh, mamma mia. Eh? Um, it is supported by some genetic evidence suggesting that today's humans are descendant from this population. Dude, you and me all are coming from these up to 10,000 people, man. That eruption could be heard thousands of miles away. Oh, that's super scary, man. Dude, we really have to get... We really have to start making bases on the moon and the Mars. So when an event like this happens again, then at least we can save ourselves, you know? Brother, congratulations! You watched the video till the end. How about you check this video out too? You're already here. Check it out!